Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to register and download an ebook via the Jacaranda website. To do this, you're going to need your ebook code and you're going to need to do this on a computer, either a desktop or a notebook. The steps required to download the ebook is first we need to create an account, or if you already have an account, we need to log into the account. Second, we need to register for the ebook, and third, we need to select the ebook and download the ebook. We need to go to the Jacaranda website. The address www.jackplus.com.au is on the card you would have received from Jacaranda. First thing we're going to need to do is to create a user account. To create the user account, hit the Create User Account button found at the top right of the screen. A new page will open and we need to fill in the information as requested. As you start typing in the first part of the school, you'll notice that it offers you all the options for, Lily for Lilydale. We select Lilydale High School, fill in the state, and name and details. You need an email address. If you don't have an email address, you can use your school email address. Every student at Lilydale High School has an email address which is comprised of their login code, the code that you use to log into the computers. It's normally three letters and four numbers. You don't need to use your school address, but if you don't have your own email address, then you can use the school one. The password needs to be a minimum of eight characters. If you're going to use your school, log, your school password and it doesn't have eight characters, just add a couple of characters to the end of it. We need to read the agreement and agree to it. I don't want to get their advertising material, so I'll untick this box. Once you've entered all of the information, you need to click on Create Account. And we're done. We're now logged in. Make sure you write down that username and password uh, so that you can come back and log into this account later on if you need to. Once you've logged into your user account, um, you need to enter the code for your books. You're automatically on your bookshelf, but you'll notice that nothing is here because you haven't entered any books yet. We need to enter our book code, which is over in this section here. If you purchase the ebook only, that will have come on a little green card. If you've bought the book, then the code is inside the front cover of the book. We simply enter the code in here and click Add. We need to agree to the terms of the use of the ebook. And now we'll see that our ebook is on our bookshelf. If you have multiple ebooks, you can redeem them all at once. Simply just add your extra codes into this code area here. Click Add, accept the agreement. And now you'll see that we have a number of ebooks on our bookshelf. Now we're ready to download our ebook. From the bookshelf, we need to select the book that we wish to download. Now you might be tempted to click on the picture of the ebook, but that's not going to work. Below the ebook in this area here, you'll notice that the cursor turns to a hand, and we can actually select this link and we'll get our ebook on our screen. From this screen, we can actually read the ebook. We can actually select uh, chapters up the top here and go to different chapters. But if we want to download the entire book, we do so from the student resources sections. This first link here says that it's a 49 meg archive. This is the link that we want. This is the actual ebook here. And if we hover over it, you'll see a little uh, highlight come up which says download a PDF version of this textbook. And this is what we want to do. So at this point, I'm going to click on this link and up will come a box which says, do I want to open or save? I'm going to save this 
somewhere on my desktop. It's probably easiest just to save it to your desktop at the moment. Click on desktop on the left hand side, click save. And now we wait. Once the ebook has finished downloading, we can go to our desktop. You'll notice that it's downloaded as a zip file. If I double click on the zip file, I can see the ebook inside that. I can just pick it up, drag it out to the desktop. Wait for it to copy. And here's my ebook. For iPad users, there's another video which will show you how to move this or to copy this ebook onto your iPad via iTunes into the Good Reader program. Have a look at that and you should be able to get this ebook onto your iPad very easily. Thank you.